In Activity 3, The Luster of Minerals, students perform a series of tests on their mineral specimens. Students first observe and describe the luster of minerals, and then classify minerals according to their luster. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 3, 1 quart containers, lid for containers, magnifiers, mineral specimens, steel nail, pearls, rayon cloth, and the rock guide. You will also need to provide newspapers and items to illustrate metallic versus non-metallic luster, a piece of chalk, a piece of graphite from a pencil, a drinking glass, unpainted pieces of polished and unpolished metal. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 3 for each student. Make sure to have the rock guide on hand for reference. You will need to collect the items to be used to illustrate metallic and non-metallic luster. For each group of four students, place two magnifiers and one set of mineral specimens 1 to 10 in a storage container. To begin the activity, divide the class into groups of four, then have each group cover their work area with newspaper. Hand out a copy of Activity Sheet 3 to each student and give each team a container of minerals and two magnifiers. Inform students that they will conduct the first of several tests on the minerals, the luster test. The results of this and subsequent tests will help them to determine the names of the minerals. Ask students, what do you think luster means? Help students understand that luster refers to the appearance of the surface of an object and the way the mineral reflects light. Next, discuss the differences between metallic and non-metallic luster. Explain that metallic luster is the reflection of light from only the surface of an object, and list examples of objects that have metallic luster, such as a nail, a chain, then a toaster. Then, define non-metallic luster as the reflection of light from many particles in the object, including those below the object's surface. Examples of items with a non-metallic luster include a drinking glass, a swatch of rayon, a piece of chalk, and a piece of graphite. Show students the items you have collected to illustrate metallic and non-metallic luster and pass them around for all to examine. Instruct students to remove mineral specimens 3, 5, 6, and 8 from their storage containers and examine them as well. Ask students which of these items has a metallic luster. Students will probably agree that the pieces of polished and unpolished metal, the nail, and specimen 8 all have a metallic luster. Specimen 3, mica, may look as though it has a silvery metallic luster, but upon closer examination, students will agree that each single layer of this mineral is transparent and therefore cannot have a metallic luster. Ask students which items have a dull appearance. Are these properties of objects with a metallic luster or a non-metallic luster? To record students' observations, you may wish to create a classroom chart showing properties and luster. Challenge the students to examine the rest of the mineral specimens with a magnifier, classify them according to luster, and then to record their observations on Activity Sheet 3. Next, have the students compare their observations with those of other team members. Ask students, could you perform the luster test on a rock to determine its mineral content? Help students understand that you can't perform a luster test on a rock to determine its mineral content because the mineral may be buried inside the rock, or they may be too small to test. Therefore, the luster test is appropriate only for minerals, not rocks. Finally, have students add to the lists they started in Activity 1 of the different ways that rocks and minerals are used today and how they have been used in the past. Tell them to identify applications that require a shiny luster, a dull luster, a metallic luster, and so on. To conclude the activity, have the students return the mineral specimens and magnifiers to the storage containers for use in the next few activities. Be sure they put the magnifiers back into their plastic covers so that they don't get scratched by the mineral specimens. Then, collect the newspaper and save it for use in Activity 4. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.